Welcome back everyone to another Pokemon ROM hacking tutorial. In this video I'm going to go over how to download and set up Hexmaniac Advance. Hexmaniac Advance is an all-in-one binary hacking tool that allows you to edit Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, Fire Red and Leaf Green, and Emerald. These ROMs also must be the English versions. To run Hexmaniac Advance, the requirements is having Windows and the .NET 6.0 framework. If you're on a newer version of Windows, it's very likely this .NET framework will already be installed. I just factory reset my computer a few months ago, and as soon as I downloaded Hexmaniac Advance, it just started working right away. But if you're having some kind of compatibility issue, make sure to check that first. Alright, so on the main GitHub page here, we're just going to go right to the releases and press the public update. Then down here, we're going to go to the 64-bit version. The download itself is a zip file, which I'm going to use WinRAR to extract it, but you can also just use Windows built-in one by right-clicking it and pressing Extract. With the file on my desktop here, I'm just going to go ahead and extract it to a new folder. Alright, now that we got our folder here, we'll go ahead and open it up, and all you got to do is run it straight from here. Now I got Windows Defender detecting that this is an unrecognized app, but don't worry, this program is totally safe to run, so we can hit more info and hit run anyway. And it's working just fine. Now before you go ahead and edit a ROM in Hexmaniac Advance, my suggestion is to create a shortcut of Hexmaniac Advance. Now I can just take this shortcut and add it to the folder my ROM is in, and then every time I want to edit this ROM, I can just take the GBA file and just drag it on top of the shortcut. Then the program will open all on its own. Again, Hexmaniac Advance is only compatible with the Gen 3 Pokemon ROM's English versions. Now before you go ahead and start ROM hacking your new game, I'd suggest checking out my tutorial on ROM bases. These ROM bases only work with a brand new unedited ROM file, and you can add things like Gen 8 or Gen 9 Pokemon, custom graphic tile sets, and a whole lot more. Now if you guys need any help or have any questions about Hexmanic Advance, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching this quick tutorial on how to install Hexmaniac Advance. If you have any ideas or suggestions for future ROM hacking tutorials, let me know down below in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.